On the Avengers, there's a massive shot where every single hero on the team comes together and they finally fight as a team. The great thing about the tie-in shot where all the Avengers are working together to battle the aliens is that it used four different virtual New York locations that we had to tie in together as Iron Man's flying between them. From the day that we saw the previs for the shot, we realized this was gonna be a massive undertaking because it's a very long shot, no cuts, where we go from hero to hero and we fly around New York um, seeing how they're fighting off the alien horde. In some cases, you know, we've got an actor on a set, a partial set with blue screen behind them. But a lot of these characters were CG, like Iron Man and the Hulk and all the aliens they're fighting, of course, and New York was CG behind them. We had two um, location leads that went around um, Manhattan, in both Midtown and Lower Manhattan, and filmed 1,200 different locations that allowed us to build up our virtual New York. Those images are then stitched together to create what people are usually referred to as a panosphere or panoramic image of that location. We can fly and go anywhere we want through New York. We can fly Iron Man down the streets. We can have Scarlet flying on the chariot. So we had to sort of choreograph with the director what it was he wanted to see in the shot and the flight path and the action with what spheres we had that could support that action. One of the challenges was uh, Captain America. They had shot an element of Captain America on set, but when we got down to the final shot, we realized this shot is about showing the Avengers coming together and finally working as a team. So we had an opportunity when Iron Man flew in next to Captain America to show not only that they're just fighting around each other, but that they're helping each other and that they're trading off blows to, to kind of win as a team. And to do this, we realized we had to change Captain America's motions, which meant that that went from, you know, a blue screen plate of Captain America to an all digital uh, human. And uh, so luckily we had taken our Captain America digital double to a point where, where that could be done. So because the shot was so massive, we had to break it into sections so that we could give each section to uh, separate groups of artists and work on them as though they were a single shot. And then we had a separate team whose job it was to pull all those sections back together and make a cohesive shot out of it. And making sure that at the blend points, that it still worked, that it worked as a cohesive shot and that it all felt like the same shot all the time. <laughs>